Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a demo instance for IC, ICS for the generation to cloud. So the first thing you have to do is like navigate to the cloud.oracle.com website. So this is how it looks like. And here, if you observe, it shows an option called gen generation to cloud infrastructure. So why I'm discussing this because like uh, this particular generation two was released in the past couple of months. So the navigation for the ICS has been changed. So that's the reason, you know, like uh, we just want to discuss like uh, what are the issues you face it and how do you get resolved it, okay? So you need to get into generation to cloud cloud infrastructure URL here. Once you click on that, it shows an option. You have like it will click, it will show an option called start for free or sign into cloud. You have to click on sign into cloud if you already have a login credentials for your cloud. If you are new to this one, if you don't have any credentials, you have to click on start for free. So once you click on start for free, it will ask you to create a cloud account and it will be unique account for each email address. So select provide your email address, select the country and territory. After that, once you click on next, it will ask you to mention what is from which particular development center you want the cloud instance, okay? So we have a couple of instances across the world. So you can select the nearby, it can be APAC region or it can be US region, anything will work, okay? So there is no validation as such that if you're a user from India, you should not select other home region. There is nothing as such. So the country or territory which you select in the first particular one is your, your original country. And the second one, what you select is the home region. When you select, it shows the development like a, the development center or you know the like infrastructure where you know like the oracle is providing the instances right that particular country home region so you mentioned the appropriate email addresses and first name last name and your addresses and once it is done it will ask you to provide your mobile number for validation once the mobile number is validated it will ask you to enter your debit or credit card details and it provides it will perform a debit as well as credit of a token amount okay so oracle will not charge any of your amount any of the amount even after the subscription is ended after 30 days okay don't worry oracle will not charge any amount of once the subscription is ended also it will not do any auto auto charge what you can do is if at all if you want to continue if you want to go with a paid version you can talk to oracle oracle customer care and they will they will extend your particular paid account also with the same cloud account okay so once it is done so it will just provide an activation email to your particular email here if you observe this is one of the screenshot of my earlier activation of one of using another email account so you'll get an email account within fraction of seconds or i can say a couple of minutes once you click on sign into oracle cloud it will provide you the navigation to the cloud website so there are few services which will take a couple of hours sometimes or a couple of minutes also okay so you just have patience on that once it once you navigate to sign into cloud this is the url it provides and so it provides IaaS as well as PaaS services, okay? Infrastructure services it will provide as well as PaaS services. PaaS services like SOA CS, JCS, BBCS, process cloud services, integration cloud services, even database cloud service also it will provide. And database cloud service, you have a special offer. It, will, it is like you can select free for every time, okay? So there is no 30 day trial period for free. Uh, for the database especially for database cloud service okay but for ICS and other pass services it is just only 30 day trial access will end now the next navigation for creating ICS instances if you just go check out this one you will see a navigation called solution and platform and you have to click on application integration and this integration so this particular navigation is a little bit changed from compared to the earlier version now the we are discussing about generation to cloud so make make sure that you select the application integration and integration and then once you click on once you come to this particular page, it will ask you to select the compartment. So by default, it will create a compartment. It doesn't need to worry. Select the major root component, whatever root compartment, whatever it is, and click on, click on create integration instances instance and provide the appropriate information here. Go with the default better and just mention the display name. Once it is done, just click on create. And once it is done, the status will be active. Okay. So, but one of the major issue which you face is once you, once you click on create, by default, the status will not be active. And it may if you click on the if you click on the status i'll just show you one of the issue which i faced earlier so once you click on the creation of the instance once you click on the display name it will go to this particular page and it show the status is accepted and the com percentage completion is 0% if it is 0% complete for total day the only option you have is you have to raise an sr with oracle to get it resolved so here if you observe the status if it is state if the status is active the state is active right so here it is accepted so if the status is active it means that your instance is ready and it is you can use it if the status is just accepted and only percentile complete is zero it means that your particular ics instance creation is in struct and you have to raise an sr with oracle with 
with Oracle to get it resolved. But one basic, basic thing we have, we are already aware that to raise SR with Oracle, we require a CSI, right? So what Oracle does is whenever you create any cloud demo instance, Oracle provides a CSI to every email account which you create, right? So but how do you know that CSI? So what you can do is once you navigate to the cloud, the initial instance, you have an option here like uh, on the governance and administration, you'll see this particular option in the account management, in the governance and administration, under the administration, you just need to click on tenancy details, and in the tenancy DLC, if you observe, you'll have a CSI number. So what you do is go to support.oracle.com and again, create the C using the same email account, create a profile in the support.oracle.com website and then raise your SAR with Oracle within one day or a couple of days, Oracle will resolve this issue and you can enjoy the benefits of ICS. I'll show you that SAR instance. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the support requests which I raised with Oracle to get it resolved. When you raise a support request with Oracle, Oracle will ask you all these particular details here. If you observe, they'll ask you what is the instance and they'll also ask you one of the information called OCID, right? So the OCID will be available on the instance creation if you observe carefully. So once you click on the instance, right, let me show you. So once you click on the ICS instance, here it, it provides an OCID. So this particular ID you have to show, you have to share with Oracle. The instance name, the OCID and your cloud account. So how do you know the cloud account? When you register with Oracle, Oracle will ask you to mention what is your cloud account. I'll show you that also. So here if you observe, this is the email address. Email address is different and cloud account is different, okay? So cloud account you have to mention in the next second, second particular browser, uh, second particular page when you, when you're trying to register for this one, okay? So make sure that you remember your email address, your cloud account, and your OCID, it doesn't need to remember. I mean to say, you just need to, you need to be aware where they are available, okay? The navigation, okay? So once it is done, just follow up with Oracle and get it resolved, then you can enjoy the benefits of ICS. I'll show you the instance navigation also from here, if you observe. So I'm into the cloud instance now. So here, solution and platform, application integration, and click on integration. Okay, so now here my instance is active. Okay, and you can click on show this one OCID, right? And just click on this particular display name. Now it provides an option if at all, if your particular status is succeeded and 100% completed, it means that the integration instance is created successfully without any issue. Okay, so here if you observe, I submitted on 22nd and it started on 28. Okay, now click on service console. Now you can navigate to the Oracle Integration Cloud Service homepage and where you will have a navigation for the Integration Cloud Service, Visual Based Cloud Service, as well as Process Cloud Service also, okay? So this is how we can create ICS demo instance from the oracle demo.oracle.com, cloud.oracle.com website. Thank you.